my name is Vera. Uh, I run Greenology. I'm a botanist by training, uh, and I've been doing. I've been in the green industry for the past 27 years. Singapore has never ever seen itself as an agricultural economy. It's a decision we make to try and produce to become farmers, but we're actually high-tech farmers who want some support for us to actually help us uh, find some solutions for our national problem that we have. If you uh, seek an island state like ours and you're dependent solely on imported food products, you realise that you're at the mercy of everyone else around you who, who you import from. So the only way we can actually overcome this is actually to find some resilience in our food security. And the resilience comes from actually having to be a little bit self-sufficient. But within an urban environment, the urban cities, the biggest problem is space. You want to have food, you want to grow food, but space is a constraint. And without a doubt, I think you have to embrace innovation and technology uh, to progress. Bringing edible systems into the urban environment so that people get closer to uh, vegetables and growing their edible products and having a very close connection with nature, doing that as well. If families started producing their own food, they know the hard work that went in and people are actually there, they see the food produced and I'll tell you that they will actually not waste the food that they produce. One thing you must realise, food security is not about food health, it's not about health alone. Uh, it's about uh, getting food at the right price, at the right reasonable price that actually can feed the popul your population. And you don't want him in a situation where you are held to ransom by someone else outside your country and asking concessions from you. And I think we can actually move it up to about 40%. And I don't see a reason why we cannot do that.